This is the path of Ampkin. This room is what most people hate about this raid. They find it the hardest, but rather after you get repetitions in it, it becomes secondary nature of how to go through and how to actually work through the room. Essentially, what you want to do is have space. You'll need a potion and a hammer. The potions are going to be used over here for the vents to clear the corruption, along with the hammer being used on the pillars to repair them. In this room, you're attacking all the baboons with three attack styles, melee, mage, and range. The animals will throw back melee, mage, range, summoning thralls and explosive ones and ones that leave a poison trail. The red baboons you attack with mage, it's their weakness. Same thing, it's combat trial. During this phase, you're going to get a notification saying, hey, there's an issue inside the room, and it's going to tell you, oh, there's an issue with the roof supports. Walk over here, click on the roof, and it's repaired. However, that is dependent upon how many people are in the room. You only have to, if you have four people, you have to do every pillar. Same with every vent. The blue ones are attacking with mage. I attack with range. That's what they're weak to. Green ones are ranging. You attack with a melee. And they're dead. These pillar supports for the corruption site will pop up frequently. So just be aware of whoever is blue. And it's going to tell you what the issue is in the room. You walk over. You fix it, and the room is done. I like Ancients here, just personally, just at higher implications. It allows me to not only burst down more melees and thralls, but rather heal up as well during the fights. Because then I can just get a bunch together, blood barrage them, and I'm healed. This is a Volatile Baboon. It's going to stop and blow up everything within about a 3x3 three three square. So the thing to do is let it stop, let it explode, and walk two tiles away. That's going to be able to save you, and you can use it to kill the other monkeys. That's a new addition. This is the Cursed Baboon. It walks around and leaves a Venom Trail on the floor. Essentially, if you're on Ancients, you want to come over here and freeze it, because if you run after it with your Blowpipe, it will cause you to walk in the trail, and you'll be Venomed for the entire fight. Once it's frozen, I can range it and have no issues or fear of walking in that pool. You want to kill the shamans first because they continuously spawn thralls during out the fight. And that just basically adds more enemies to where you need to kill them. All you need to do is to find out what's attacking you. Mostly you're going to be praying melee if the enemies are here. Here we can see that the vents are called. During this fight you would call vents. Every player would walk over. Use a potion on the vents. And the corruption is cleared. The only corruption that I cannot show you right now. Just because I am a solo. Is basically when you see the eyesight. But you don't see anything over the vents or the pillars. It's going to be on your fellow teammates, and what you need to do at that point is you need to call out DD. Similar to Sodaseg and similar to everything else, that's where everyone's going to stack up and you're going to use the potions. To make it simple, you call either DD North or DD South depending upon where the most people are at in the room. Once you come here and you say DD South, everyone will come, and the person who has the vision, the blue vision, will come down here and spam potions. It will clear the corruption of all the players as long as they're on the tile. Once that's done, that's part of the fight. Otherwise, this is really a wave-based game. There's 10 waves in totals that you have to go through to clear out the room. It's hectic when you allow the cursed baboons to continuously leave the venom on the floor, so it is highly suggested to kill them first or stop them in their tracks. If you do come over here and you allow them and you don't move, when they walk towards you, they won't go through you. They'll only walk through you if you move. You can use the Volatile Baboons to help clear out a lot of the enemies, and that just saves you time and supplies because you can kill a bunch of the group in a single go. Come down here, freeze the Baboon, melee the Ranger, and that is the fight. That is the entire room. Pillars, Vents, DD South, and then just breaking down the 10 waves. 
Now, because it wasn't the final boss fight, your health is going to be weakened, and so is your prayer. At that time, you can use your potions if you have them, but you need to be ready over here for the fight with Baba. Baba's fight, for some people, is a little bit harder, and they don't like it as much as other fights would. For Baba's room, what I like to do is I like to make sure that I have my blowpipe and my backpack, my assembler, nearby because I'm going to need it for whenever he does his boulder game. Down here, you can salt it back up. You're going to take your melee weapon, your spec weapon, BGS, walk into the room, and you're going to fight him. Spec him down, and then just go through his health. Baba has a few different attacks. <coughs> this is his... This is the Shadow Slam. He's going to stop and pause in front of you, and you're going to see the little dots develop on the floor. And basically, he's going to slam the floor and do massive damage to you. The falling boulders are basically a sign that, hey, he's going to throw a boulder soon, and you need to be out of the way. What you need to do is you need to stand over here by these rocks before he throws a boulder. So that way, when it does hit you, you take minimal damage because the boulder takes all the damage. Once he jumps up to the top, we get thrown down, and now we switch to our blowpipe and our backpack. So we can just walk through, turn rigor on, or whatever your range prey highest is, and attack the weakened boulders. When you're solo with rigor, it would a one-shot. When you have more people, it needs two to three shots to break the boulder down to go through. Once you get more confident, you can attack a boulder and just run through, and you'll skip the next boulder phase. However, just be aware... Now the, the boulders are not going to spawn in the same spot forward, and you also have your teammates to worry about. You see the boulder, step over, attack. Now, if you have Mind the Gap on, you will die if you fall in this area. So you generally want to have these tiles marked here to know where is the safe spot I can stand, and where do I need to be before the boulder attack. You can draw the line down, but as soon as you get comfortable with it, you only really need the top two to know, like, hey, this is where I have to be. Otherwise, if you're attacking a boulder that's not weakened, it may not break. This is entirely Baba's fight here. The monkeys will spawn. You can leave them alone or you can kill them. At high invocations, you do want to kill them because they will rip open the sarcophaguses. And this is an area of effect attack. They will damage you. When he throws the boulder, you can get next to a sarcophagus if you want to sacrifice its health. And the sarcophagus will take the damage. However, you're going to have more area of effect attacks on you. Being able to kill you faster and weaken and reduce your prayer. Baba's fight is very simple. These tiles are important to have marked for when Mind the Gap is on, because if you are here, you will die. <coughs> Step, walk, attack. Step, walk, attack. That is Baba's room. It's more complicated at higher invocations because there's more things going on. It's a very clear and easy task to do. At the end of killing all four of the mini-bosses, another helpful spirit will be here. We claim it. At this point, I would then take life because, hey, I still have my salts and I have my liquid adrenaline. I take this because now I know I'm good throughout the rest of the fight. Extra pots that you have, you can deposit here in the deposit pot. You can only put the pots inside, no actual weapons or equipment. Which I find kind of weird because like some things I'd like to get rid of, some things I can't. But we just deal with it. 